What's up, Word Nerds? My name's Kenny. Hope you're all feeling good today. It is Wednesday, September 4th. In this video, we're going to play Wordle Connections, the mini crossword and strands, and I'm going to try to take it easy today, just not feeling the best. So we'll go ahead and just uh, play one game at a time. Uh, today's starting word in Wordle is going to be this word, which was just randomly selected. I select a random word every day. I, I'm assuming this is pronounced ombre. I have no idea what this word means. Um, unless it's amber. Don't know. So, uh, I'll look it up later. Let's go ahead and put it in and see what it gets me today. Okay, an R at the end in the fourth position, and then there's an E not in the fifth position. So, let's go with the E in the second position. Um, actually, no, let's go with entry. Am I going to get this one in two today? No. Oh my gosh, though, we got three letters there. Okay. Uh, hmm. Where's that N going to go? Could the N go third? I'm like, I'm, I think this might start with N. Then it would have to be like this. Um, I don't know. I guess the E could go here. No, the N can go last. Wait, okay. Wait, wait, wait. T, E, R, N like this. Maybe? What am I missing here? The E could go in either of those spots. Right? The E could go either of these spots. Is this just a word I don't know? Or do I have the, the consonants mixed up here? Uh, okay. This is tough. Um, I'm probably just overlooking something obvious, but let me think for a second. Let me, yeah, let me just figure this out. Um, so, okay, so what did I do? I, see, if the T goes last, okay, so it could be, hold on, it could be T-E-N or N-E-T, but N-E-T doesn't seem right. T-E-N. Ten. I don't think so. So I think that either the T or the N goes fifth. So let's start with the T going fifth. I think I already looked at this, but let's look at it again. Uh, so if the T goes fifth, which it doesn't have to, the T and the N don't go next to each other. I can I feel pretty confident about that. Um, well, they can't because the E has to go in one of those, uh, second or third. But anyway, um, if the T goes fifth, the N only has two positions. First or third. So we could put the N here and go like this. And I don't see anything here. So we could put the N here and go like this, but then the N would ha or the E would have to be here. I don't think that looks right. So let's try the N fifth, which is what I was doing, but then the T the T could go. Oh, it's stern. Yeah, I was overlooking something easy. That's what it was. Yeah, the T in the second position. That's what it was. <laughs> I just didn't even, didn't even look at the T going in the second position. Okay. Easy word, but yeah, maybe my brain's not working today. I don't know. We'll uh, we'll find out. We got three more games to decide that. So let's go ahead and um, let's get into connections. Um, 
I don't think I did good yesterday on yesterday's connections. I know you guys didn't see that video. That's why I'm telling you. Um, okay. All right, guys. Here we go. Connections. September 4th. Let's get... What is this? <laughs> okay, thank you for... Connection stats. That, that was like a jump scare. I, I was like freaking out what the heck just popped up. Okay, we got statistics now. Very cool. Let's look at my stats. Mistake distribution. Perfect puzzles. Completed 81. I definitely completed more than 81. <laughs> 81 is only a couple months, and I've been playing every day since, like, last... I mean, it's been around since, like, June, July, or August or something. I've been playing at least since... I think July, August, something like that. Um, so yeah, uh, this is not all my stats, but you know what? Fine. <laughs> Fine. Current streak. I'm assuming a streak is just winning. I'm 80%. 80%. I, that, that is, okay, out of, I have never seen this stat before, 80% win rate. That, it's not that surprising. It's a little, a little bit higher than I thought it would be. Like honestly, like I, I feel like I'm just not that great at connections, but I guess I can guess my way at the end and win. So I think it just feels like I lose more because I just make random guesses and I just get the categories. So, um, okay. Anyway, here we go. Trace crate. They're gonna be using the same words as each other. I know that from playing Wordle a lot. Cater and, I guess, Carrot. So let's put that in. Okay, that's not right. Dang. I thought for sure that was going to be right. They all use T, R, A, C, and E, like Trace. Are there more? No. Hmm. Okay, they threw them on there to trick you. Carrot... these um isn't the carrot the little symbol thing maybe not shred bed trace brace cater Hmm. Cater, host, throw. Plan? There we go. Help put on a party. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we got. Collar, crate, a bed, things for like a dog, and a bowl. There we go. Puppy purchases. We still don't have the yellow category. With the, the yellow one's supposed to be the easiest. A shred of evidence, a trace, a hint, and a touch. Just a little bit. Uh... Oh, a brace must be what you call that symbol that's like a bracket or something. These are all symbols. I saw the three symbols. I didn't point it out, but I did mention the carrot symbol. And so, like, most of the time here that I was spending looking, I was looking for other symbols. I saw star and hash, but I wasn't going to say anything until I found the fourth one, <laughs> like, out loud. Um, so, uh, yeah. So I did get that this was symbols, carrot, hash, and star. I knew those three. It was just brace. I didn't realize that was a symbol. There we go. I even looked down on the keyboard. If you go back like 30 seconds or so, like before I put in um, 
the third one. I don't know. I looked down at the keyboard for like five five to ten seconds. <laughs> and that was me looking for symbols. And I'm like, okay, there's an exclamation mark. There's a, the at symbol. There's the, uh, the hashtag. Well, that, that is probably the hash one. There's the dollar sign. There's the ampersand. There's... And I saw the parentheses, and I'm just like, I don't, like, what is the other symbol? Okay. So, yeah, if you go back in the video, you can definitely see me looking down at the keyboard there. Uh, let me know if you guys did that as well. <laughs> I did not know it was called a brace for that symbol, though. So, anyway, did pretty well on this one. Let's uh, see if the stats updated. Sure did. Streak is one. Mistake distribution. So, obviously, you want it to be zero or one. This is interesting because you're gonna two mistakes. Hmm. Why it's so weird that like two mistakes is so low. Are is everybody's distribution similar to this? Like I I'm kind of curious actually. Do you two and three are these lower for for most people? Also mistake distribution. Um Four mistakes, does that mean you lose? Or can you make four mistakes and still be able to win? I feel like four mistakes and you're out. But maybe I don't know. Okay, I play this every day, and I'm wondering that. Okay, anyway, uh, we got uh, we got the mini next. Let's go ahead and move on. Okay, here we go. Mini crossword Wednesday, September 4th. Let's get started. See if I can solve it today. Unwanted emails. Uh, spam, right? Glam rock? I don't even know. First of all, whenever they put a question mark on there, that means that you're not supposed to take it like super literally. Like it's like a, almost like a pun, almost like a, what do you call it? Like a double meaning kind of thing. I don't even know what the first meaning is. To even be able to guess incorrectly. So let's go with symbol on a I'm with stupid shirt is an arrow, I'm assuming. Uh, would a fitness tracker count steps, I'm assuming. Futures opposite past. Okay, so gasp. Um, sort of probably. I'm going to not even read the clues. Uh, hmm, pairs maybe? A adopt or a, a a topped? No, adopt. And then I'm gonna say Mose. No. Okay. What are the clues? Big name in mattresses. I have no idea. Um. Pores probably <laughs> on a sponge. Take into one's family. Adopt. Cries from a kitten. Um, I don't know. Glam rock? I have no idea. Is it a gasp? Yeah, gasp. These aren't right. Pores is right, I think. Adopt is right. Muse? Muse. Okay. Um, geode? Okay, so then it's Serta. <laughs> Why'd they turn the sound back on? That's a setting that I always have. What? I always have that setting off. Uh, where's the setting at? Right here. I I always have that setting off. Why did it all of a sudden come back on today? Also, I should probably look at these settings to see if I want to change anything. Um, I don't use arrow keys. Hmm. I'm not sure. I, I feel like, I don't know, whatever. It's fine. Just, I don't want the sound on. <laughs> Okay, hopefully that wasn't too loud. I apologize if it was, because I intentionally turned that setting off so you guys didn't have to hear that because it was really loud. Uh, anyway, we got strands next. 
never heard of Serta before. So uh, anyway, let's go ahead and click on strands. Here we go. What's the theme today? American Beauty. No idea what this is going to be. Draw. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm probably going to have to use uh, hints for this one. I mean, I could probably, maybe I could find the first word and pick up on what the hint is, but without a hint, uh, it's going to take me way too long. And uh, I'm not really looking to take a lot of time here, so. Ranch. Wood. Hmm. Wood ranch. No. Glit. Park. Parks. Maybe it's something parks. American Beauty. Because uh, parks are pretty beautiful, I guess. Right? Um, state parks. I don't know. <laughs> National. Yeah, national. National parks. That is actually impressive to be able to get the spangram first and have no idea what the clue is referencing. But I saw parks, so. I was trying to think of the word, too. Like, the word was national, and I was sitting there and I was like, crap, what's the word for this again? <laughs> It's amazing how my brain turns off in the moments when I need it the most. Uh, I don't know American parks or national parks, so... Um, I guess Redwood and then Arches, okay. Don't know what that is referring to. I mean, you have... Is that, a, is that the name of, of, of a national park? Um, I'm just going to use hints. I'm not even going to... I, I really don't even want to look. I mean, if they're easy, maybe I'll see them, but... I'm not going to know these ones. I'm not going to know them, so let me just let me just learn some stuff. I don't want to spend time looking for words, although that's kind of the point of the game. Um... Well, th that was actually the perfect word to get because now we know what all three words are. <laughs> um, because it's one word, two word, three words separated by these. That's nice. Um, but I might need to use another hint to get the order of the words because I don't, I don't, I don't see this. Um. Yeah, okay, let's look at the other words here. Okay, what about the top one? I'm looking at the left one. Let's look at this upper one. Um, Okay, I'm going to have to find hints for all of these because I have no idea. Glacier. Didn't see that. Did not see that. We're going to have to find, uh, let's see, one, two, three for one hint. We need four hints, so we're going to need to find 12 words. All right, here we go. 12 words. Uh, start with nation because it's in national. Nation. Actually, I could probably just put in national. Yeah. Okay, so I did ranch, redwood. Okay. Um... Can't do door. Okay. Um, 
Dawn. There we go. Lone? There we go. Okay, let's find... We need two more to find this word. Um, sand. Um, can we do salad? We can do salad. Sag... Sag... Saguaro? Is that a word by itself? Like, not referring to a national park? Because, like, usually... Proper nouns, they don't do proper nouns. Usually the words themselves have their own definition outside of being a proper noun. So, okay. Uh, hmm. Carl. That's, that's a word. Okay, great. Um, land? Is Ryan a word? It is. Okay. All right, we need three more. Gist. It's a good word. Um, chest. There we go. And... Hmm. Lice. Okay. B A D Badlands? What? Okay. So I'm assuming these are all national parks. I don't know a single national park. So. Or they're just associated with national parks? Don't ask me. Don't know. Uh, obviously, you guys know. I don't. <laughs> um, no, I mean, like, whenever I saw the strands and I literally don't know anything about the category or the words involved it's always just like just trying to get through it and i kind of hate i might like these are the kind of ones i don't even want to solve like i just want to like look at them say nope and then just move on but i'm recording a video every day i'm playing these games so uh just kind of going through the motions here but uh uh anyway the connect the, the connections stuff was kind of the highlight of the video with stats and whatnot that's interesting uh, it took way too long on Wordle today, but it is what it is, so. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm gonna get going. I, uh, yeah, I just need to, uh, need to get myself right right now. I'm just sort of in a funky mood, so. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So, hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. Hope you guys are all feeling good. Um, I'll be back tomorrow to play again. So, I'll see you guys then. Um, yeah, reminder, if you guys want to support the channel, check out Patreon. I'm going to go ahead and record the Spelling Bee video right now for the past few days. Um, so if you guys are interested in watching that, becoming a Patreon member, check it out. All right, that's it. See you guys next time.